So uh, everybody out there, I got an important question for you. Um, if we are to save the whales, who is to save us from the whales from when they attack? Now, you might be wondering, well, whales are so gentle and so nice and so peaceful. They never dare to hurt us. And you're right. Most of the times they don't. But you got to understand that these ginormous, lovable creatures can sometimes be real Moby Dick. Sometimes they just jump out of nowhere because they're confused. They're, they're going for a little tiny itty bitty fish. And in that process, they can cause a whole lot of havoc. Now, I've got a couple of videos here that I'm sure everybody's about to enjoy. So the first video is here. I believe it's uh, from uh, our friends out in the East Coast. And just take a look at what's going on here. Now this kid's like thinking like somebody get me Aquaman. Somebody get me Captain Ahab. Somebody get me somebody on the line. And because I got to get out of here. Now imagine if you're the two guys here in the boat. If you didn't notice there's two guys. Take a look. Keep looking at the video. Yeah, you see the guys are like, oh, no. Oh, no, we got to get out of here. Like, bye, Felicia. Like, this this is a whale catastrophe in the making. So, but wait, if you ever wanted to go out into the ocean, um, here is reason, like, one million and one not to go out there. Because even sometimes when you're fishing on a sturdy vessel with no bad weather, this thing might come out of the water and just teach you a lesson. You're not going to forget that day. Now, you'd be thinking, like, this has got to be a one-off. Nope. Wrong. Check this video out. Now, i got a question here. Who's going to feel it more? The boat or the whale? Because I can't imagine this is very pleasant for the creature. I mean, like, the thing comes out of the water. It's like, you know, it's like chasing, like, a little itty-bitty minnow. Because, again, whales don't eat, like, very big fish. Like I said, if you're to get swallowed by a whale, it's going to probably, like, Bleh! and, you know, it spits you right back out. But... There's, it's not a pleasant thought to think that you could just get swallowed up by a whale. I mean, like, who wants to get swallowed up by anything, let alone a creature that's going to take you down to the depths of the ocean? I mean, these some of these things, like, fight giant squids. Boy, that's a real thing. Like, I have to get more into, like, the aqua biology. I'm not sure what oceanography. I don't know my, you know, ocean sciences. As you can tell, I'm not interested in going out into the ocean because... To me, it's just a desert filled with water, okay? That's all it is. And whatever lurks beneath there is scary stuff. Like this, you know? Like like this. Yep. Now that's a more question. Yes, he did. And sir, you have my thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for getting this on video. Thank you for putting this out in the world. Because we got to be careful of the whales out there. Now, I got another couple of clips here. Um, actually, no, I just got one more clip. Now, this is the best for last, you know, because this is when you can go, uh, uh, well, let's just play it first, and then I'll react as, uh, as you see it. Now, this one's made the rounds. This is a good but old. You see these two kayakers out here just chilling, relaxing, having a good old time, having a good old time. Oh, hey. Okay. Bye. Yikes. Now, whoo, I love the slow paddle back. Like, what are you going to do? If that thing chases after you, you're done. You're done. Like, you shouldn't be paddling backwards. You should be paddling forward. These are big, monstrous creatures. The last place this creature is going to be is right there where he just swallowed those kayaks. You know, actually, that, that's an important point. If you see this creature come up, it's not going to go hit up the back. So I was like, got to go turn around and go do its own thing. No, no. You go towards the shore, not back towards the water, not back towards the ocean. You don't know what's back there. There's krakens, there's dragons, there's giant squids. There's all kinds of nasty crap out the other side of the ocean. But at this side, you, you always go for land. You go, go for land, people. Just, just please go for land. Now, let's take another. Yeah. Well. Yep, there's the mouth. Now, that said, this whale's got to be confused. Now, you know, said so the follow-up to this video is that the whale spit them out, obviously. It's like, it's not going to eat a rubber wrap, uh, a plastic wrap. And I believe, like, whales have, like, some kind of a net in the back of their throat that prevents them from eating larger things. And thank God, because I said, these could have been evolved into, like, I mean, boy, they're the monsters of the ocean. They're giant. They're huge. They're big, you know? Um... Also, it's a shame what we used to do to them where we used to just like capture them and just like use them for their oils and all that other stuff. I mean, there was an entire industry built on like harvesting whale oil for lanterns. 
terrible, terrible stuff. Because these creatures are actually very intelligent, they're very great, but you know, so like like anybody else, they just get confused. And sometimes, you know, you just gotta swallow a kayak or two to prove a point. Yep, and down you go. Now, <laughs> now props to this individual right here with this camera. Now, just big, big props because you waited until the thing swallowed him whole before dropping your camera and like, let's take a look, yep. And then moving to action. That's right, like, thank you. Thank you very much. Like I said, if you're out there with friends like this, who needs enemies at all? Because you just go out there and hey, like, you know, whale swallows, yep, who cares? Let me get it on video first. Because remember what the other guy said too. Get it on video because that's the most important thing. You gotta capture this on video because part of it is like, well, nobody would believe you if you said like, hey, I got swallowed up a whale. Yeah, sure you did, buddy. Well. <laughs> yeah um the ocean's a scary place man that's all i gotta say at the end of the day the ocean is a scary place so now that we've seen those clips uh what are your guys' thoughts of going out into the sea you know uh, what are your th you know like do you see why captain ahab and moby dick might have been a little upset with the whales uh because there is an important question like i started the, the start of the video if we need to save the whales who's going to eventually save us from them aquaman Ooh, I don't know, you know, um, now that actually, it's like I said, maybe, maybe there's a movie idea somewhere here, but maybe we got to go reach out to Hollywood, because remember Sharknado, we need whale NATO. that's right, we need whale NATO. we need a bunch of whales just causing all kinds of havocs, and by golly, they can, you know, like, they're giant creatures, <laughs> luckily, they're the gentle giants of the ocean, now, guys, don't take me here or anything more than a joke, because, again, like, these guys are, they're, they're friends, man. Like, they're, they're just like you know, you see people swimming with them all the time. They're having a good old jolly time. The whales are smart, too. They're very smart creatures. They're very smart and capable. And they're not going to hurt a fly. I mean, they're just giant lumbering, you know, creatures that just, like, patrol the waters. And they just get, happen to just be ginormous. But they're, you know, but you know what? With a giant creature comes a giant heart. That's what I want everybody to remember here. So, anyway... Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video. Like and comment below. Tell me what your experiences in the ocean are. And like I said, I hopefully I didn't keep too many of you from going out there and enjoying the days and the sunshine and on the beaches. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by.